In this video, I'll be talking about all the Season 1 changes and updates to Cold War Zombies, starting off with a brand new kill streak called the Cruise Missile. The Cruise Missile can be crafted at any crafting table under the support section for 150 high grade salvage. The best way to use this kill streak is by hoarding up all the zombies and then calling it in. When you're in control of the missile, you can shoot two smaller missiles before the main missile hits the ground. Next up, we have the addition of two brand new weapons, an SMG called the MAC-10 and an assault rifle called the Groza. These two weapons can be obtained from the mystery box and can also be unlocked for loadouts by reaching tier 15 in the battle pass for the MAC-10 and tier 31 for the Groza. Along with two new weapons, we also have gotten a limited time mode called Jingle Hells. This mode slightly revamps D-Machine with Christmas decorations, a snowball and snowman mechanic, zombies with Santa hats, plague hounds as reindeer, megaton as Santa Claus, and a couple of other surprises. This game mode also removes the mystery box entirely, so you're forced to get new weapons by freezing a zombie with snowballs, killing him, and hoping you get a present which gives you a random item like a weapon or a lethal slash tactical. Moving on, we now have seasonal challenges which can be found in the barracks tab under progression and season 1. These challenges slowly unlock every 10 levels and give rewards such as XP and calling cards. Finish all 20 challenges and you'll unlock the Zombie Hunter Master Calling Card as well as receive 10,000 XP. Now that we're already in the Season 1 tab, let's talk about the 4 new prestiges that were added as well as the rewards. So every 50 levels up to 200, you will enter a new prestige all the way to Prestige 7. Once Prestige 7 has been reached, you can then go from level 200 all the way to 1000. The rewards for entering a new prestige goes as follows. Level 50, new prestige icon, emblem, prestige key, weapon, blue print and battle pass tier skip, level 100 new prestige icon, emblem, prestige key and battle pass tier skip, level 150 new prestige icon, emblem, prestige key and battle pass tier skip again, level 200 new prestige icon, emblem, prestige key, battle pass tier skip, prestige master calling card and all season challenges unlocked. Level 250 to 1000 will simply just grant you a prestige key every 50 levels. Prestige keys can be used in the prestige shop location in the barracks under progression, but at the time this video is being made, the prestige shop is bugged and has been removed from the game temporarily. Another addition to zombies is a new map for Onslaught called The Pines. This map is located in a mall and plays exactly like any other Onslaught map. Of course, this is only accessible on PS4 and PS5, but don't worry Xbox and PC players, you're not missing out on much. With the introduction to the first battle pass in Black Ops Cold War, which contains a hundred tiers of items that range from blueprints to skins, we've also received Zombies exclusive operator missions. These missions are currently only available for the operators Stitch and Garcia, and the the easiest way to see these missions is by going into the Operators tab, clicking on Warsaw Pack, and then clicking R2 on either Stitch or Garcia. This will bring up the Missions tab and show the following rewards for completing objectives. Objective 1 will give you a Calling Card, Objective 2 will give you a Skin, Objective 3 will give you an Emblem, and Objective 4 will give you another Skin. The rewards for Stitch are a Calling Card, Emblem, and two Skins as well, except the objectives are completely different. None of the objectives are too difficult and are things you normally do when playing anyways. Moving on, let's talk about changes and new game mechanics. For the first time since battle passes were introduced to Call of Duty, Zombies players can now earn progress for tiers just by playing the game. Back on Black Ops 4, Zombies players could only earn progress for the battle pass with what I believe was two daily tier skips. That's it. A couple of other things to mention is the addition of two player split screen. Swapping AATs no longer gives you max ammo as you can see in the gameplay. You can now pick up monkey bombs by just walking over them if you already have one in your inventory. If you have brain rot on your gun during a dog round, you can now turn a dog friendly by shooting at it, which then allows you to pet the dog. I don't know what Treyarch was thinking, but I guess that's cool. There's also a new tab under weapons called accessories that allows you to put on a watch and a couple of other things. Along with this tab came a new gesture called check watch, which allows you to, well, check your watch in game. One more major thing to mention is that there has been some changes to salvage and high grade salvage. If you didn't know, every time a round milestone pops up on your screen, you get some extra salvage. Well, with this new update, they changed how this salvage is distributed so it's distributed more evenly among all players in your game. The change also ensures that 450 high grade salvage is awarded to all players when you complete round 20. After round 30, the milestone salvage is capped at 500 salvage and 250 high grade salvage.
salvage. These aren't the only changes that happen because normal salvage drop rates have been slightly reduced so that high grade salvage drop rates are higher in the earlier rounds. Other than everything I mentioned, they patched some bugs slash glitches, introduced new stability fixes and improvements for host migration, and fixed the D-Machine high round leaderboard so that it now tracks your highest round completed instead of total rounds completed. Well, those are all the changes and additions to Zombies for Season 1. There are a couple more things to come later on in the season, so when the time comes, I'll have a video up for that as soon as possible. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you know of any other changes, leave them down in the comment section below, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.